Hi everybody, Shortbox King here. I'm not here to shill for Shortboxes today. I'm here to shill for David Michelinie coming on July 22nd. It will be our Not at Comic Con. I won't be at Comic Con, I'll be here. I'll be here because David Michelinie has written some of my most favorite comics in the world, easily top 10, including Avengers 223. It's awesome. They did a great job with this one. Taskmaster's in there. This is what got me enjoying Taskmaster as a bad guy. He's my favorite bad guy, plain and simple. Fantastic. And then he also did the first appearance of Venom. And Amazing Spidey 300, Amazing Spidey 298, where Venom makes his little fist appearance, was the first time I ever recognized that somebody actually drew comics with Todd McFarlane. But Micheline, Michelini wrote it, and then he created Venom with Todd McFarlane, and it's great. This I can't wait to get both of these signed. If you want, like, he's doing it for free. All, like, he's taking, like, donations for a cat charity. We've got more information on that. We're doing a VIP thing. It's going to be awesome. This is a great request from the Shortbox King. Come out, see him, say hi. The man's a, the man's a legend. It's going to be great. And then we go, oh, hi. I'm the more information. <laughs> <laughs> Carol and Josh Jobbers. Uh Dave Michelinie will be here on July 22nd. And as uh, Mr. SBK over here mentioned, that is during our Not At Comic Con sale. So we're going to have tons of sales in the store. Well, a bunch of Dave Michelinie Venom merchandise uh, that's starting to show up. Um, and we are doing a VIP event. That will be the night before. So on July 22nd is an open signing in the store. We'll be open all day. You can walk up, get stuff signed, talk to Dave. He's a great guy to talk to. I've been stalking John's emails with him. Um, but the night before, we're going to have a VIP event. So I do have the details for that on my cheat sheet. Um, the night before, so July 21st, there's going to be a three-hour VIP event. It's a conversation between John and Dave. He's been, John's been working on his questions and getting all kinds of interview stuff together for that. Um, it will be $50 straight, no text, no whatever. Uh, that all goes to the Purring Pals charity. That's a cat rescue charity in Delaware. It was Dave's request. All of that money from the VIP event, and I think some of it from the day, is going to go to charity, so you can feel really awesome about that. And we're kind of cat people. I don't know where the third ball is. Um, but we're kind of cat people, so we're in full support. So that is uh, July 21st from 6 to 9. Uh, you may get tickets for that starting on Thursday at noon. So the shop opens at noon on Thursday. You can call in yes. with a credit card. Or bring cash, but it's first come, first serve tickets for the VIP event with John questioning Dave. Yes. Um, we are also going to brew a beer for that event. We'll have plenty of other refreshments, but we're going to brew an exclusive beer because we haven't done one in a while. Have a really cool uh, label, and uh, we're stoked about that because I'm out of practice you've, you've on seen, beer. You've seen what, what the labels will look like. So when did you get here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and during that event, the VIP Ticket holders will get five items signed by Dave included in the ticket price. But again, it goes to charity anyway. So, yeah, that's it. This is very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wanted to make sure I covered everything. Uh, John is going to do a video tomorrow uh, covering his angle and excitement of stuff. John Dudas is going to. Um, we'll have all that stuff posted on Facebook and our website, but we're very, very excited to have Dave here. Uh, it's been in the works for almost a year. He was going to be here on Free Comic Book Day, but it is his 75th birthday, we found out. He wasn't lying about that just to get out of it. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's, uh, that's our big, exciting announcement. Keep in mind that it's during the sale, so that's half off back issues at least during the sale. Do you have any other details on that? Not yet. Not yet. But we always have a not a Comic Con sale. That's, that's all three days of that weekend. So, um, First appearances? Anybody else got anything else? No, I think first appearances. Oh, yeah. La oh, yeah. yeah. More, more. Late Night Comics is early this month because the first month of the first day of the month is on a Thursday. So Late Night Comics is the 15th this month. Um, we don't have a hard theme yet. We do have a silly little giveaway. If you're into silly little giveaways. Uh, and um, side note, I'm going to be hosting again for Lenora's Midnight Rental. Uh, Andrea rocking the shirt that we got at the event last month. Uh, and I'll be hosting again on Monday on the 5th. Co-hosting with uh, Lenora, which was a super fun time. So if you just want to spend 10 bucks to get some popcorn and watch a really silly horror movie, come join us at the Grog Shop. Uh, first appearance. <laughs> Not appearances. Edge of Spider-Verse number two 
is the first appearance of the Sky Spider, who we will see on one of the covers over here in a minute. But that's, it's a uh, five, fifth of five Wednesdays in May. Um, so here we go. <laughs> uh, the table starts off with, you got a glimpse of all the Dave Michelini material we've collected. We've got more, we've got Ant-Man stuff, Iron Man stuff. Uh, his one run on Aquaman where he broke Aquaman's heart and then left the book. <laughs> I mean, killed his kid and then he left. Uh, then we're on new image stuff. So we'll start in the middle with World Tree number two. Sorry, I'm bug me. World Tree's on number two. It is just as horrific and bleak as number one. Oh, yeah, it really is. But it's I it's a it. it's so good. <laughs> Tingling's like, killing really it with do. horror books. Good, yeah. I was listening to a podcast with him on it the other day, and he loves making us upset. <laughs> that's awesome, awesome actually so that'll be your cover a for world tree and then we've got a one in 25 variant which is just scarier Horrific. the longer you Horrific. look at it <laughs> yeah uh deep cuts is on number two we've got spawn scorched on number 18 and local man on number five four 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 that's hidden down there um above that one last image book world tree number one reprinted so if you like when we call a book horrific and scary and uncomfortable and great and great i will say it's great very well written but if you like it when we tell you that get number one and number two God, what is so <laughs> <laughs> uh then we're into marvel stuff one marvel reprint this week uh warlock rebirth the most current miniseries for warlock uh number one reprinted by ron mars then we've got the uh carnage ongoing series is on volume number two and then a bunch of epic collections. Uh, Star Wars epic collection. So that's the original Marvel years. That'll be volume six. It's the final volume. Oh, yeah, because that's the last cover. Yep. Where Lando's being <laughs> cradled. <laughs> um, Marvel Masterworks is reprinting from the beginning-ish. For the well, I don't know if they're going to keep going, but they're doing volume one. So this is amazing. Spider-Man Marvel Masterworks volume one. Uh, it's the first appearance of Spider-Man and the first ten issues. Yep. Cool. Um, then we finally got back in stock. They reprinted uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga. So that is here in mass, which is cool because we haven't had it in a while. X-Men 92, the saga continues, is both of the most recent X-Men 92 miniseries. Yes. And then Epic Collection for Sergeant Fury and his Helen Commandos, subtitled Wait. Berlin Breakout. Volume 2 of the Epic Collections, it's issue 20 through, I believe, 40. Sick. And then She-Hulk, uh, the most funly titled epic collection, The Cosmic Squish Principle. Uh, next to that, X-Force by Benjamin Percy, hardcover volume two. And if you ordered that and we didn't write you down, we're sorry because we don't know where it came from. <laughs> Star Wars stuff from Marvel this week gets us Dr. Aphra number 32 and Santa Staros number four of five. So we got penultimate there. Aliens is on issue number two of its current run. That'll be your cover A. This will be your ridiculously cool cover B. I like it. Oh, it's, 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 it's coming it's out of the antenna. I didn't even notice. And just hanging out on it. That's cool. Dead space, man. Uh, superhero side of stuff. We got X-23, Deadly Genesis, number three of five. We've got Clobber in Time, number three of five. So it's the current Thing team-up book, and this is a team-up with Doctor Strange. Uh, and we've got the Pinogian, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cover B. Um, next to it, we have the connecting cover of Spider-Man 2099 Dark Genesis. This is number five, so this is the last of the miniseries. Next to it, we got the frame variant, and next to that, we have the 1 in 25 handbook variant. Um, above it, we're keeping with the Carnage. We'll go Carnage number 13. Uh, this is the third part of Carnage Reigns, if you're following that. And there's the connecting cover, and here's the 1 in 25 variant, which I actually didn't notice uh, Spidey coming out this corner. Uh, Capt uh, Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain, is on number four. Uh, next to it, who do we? Oh, the Davi Go variant. Mm hmm. Um, above it, Edge of Spider-Verse is on number two, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, this has the uh, Disney princess-esque Spider-Man spinstress. Mm -hmm. uh, and then next to it, we've got the, let's call it the character variant. This is Sky Spider and, can, is it connecting? I think that's a connecting. This is the connecting. Yeah, that's a connecting variant. Cool. Uh, still more symbiotes. What do you know? It's like a sunburn of symbiotes around here. <laughs> Venom Lethal Protector is on number three of five with a fantastic kind of homage cover. Right? It is absolutely an homage cover. And then Philip Tan did a variant for that one. Uh, John Shear's favorite Avengers series ever. Uh, Avengers Beyond is on issue number three of five. Thanks, Greg Land. And then... Only because of Jerry Curl Beyonder. With Todd Knock doing a cover on that one. Spider-Verse. 
the Spider Verse Jerry Curl Beyonder. Yep. Of all the things that I didn't know that I needed this week. <laughs> on a week of slow <laughs> comics, we still get that. Yeah, on a week of slow comics, though, the, the one next to it is even better. Yeah, yeah, the end of the best Punisher ongoing series that I've read in Many a years. long, long, long time. Punisher number 12 finishes up the run. We're all fans of it except for Andrea, but she's wrong about something every once in a while. She's going to read it. I have not read it yet. Yet. I like the yet. That's the yet. Bless yes. you. Thank you. I will read it. Damn it, right. Your job depends on it. Um, we've got two variants for that one. Uh, Suyan, 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 yep. Uh, did a fantastic one, and then John Cassidy did a spider one. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, Doctor Str- this is the, why you watch the videos for the honest opinion of things. We all pulled that out of the box and just went. I mean, just, we can just show it. Like we called it the derpiest cover of the week. Like it really Puncher is. does not need to be Spider Man. No, it's at just- all. You should have just had him wearing a Spider-Man T-shirt. Well, if he's gonna be Spider-Man, he's gonna be wearing the black suit. Right. So that's yeah. Just <laughs> get it off the table. Doctor Strange <laughs> is on issue number three. Uh, we've got several variants for that one. Uh, the AAPI variant featuring who's the uh, runaway character? Nico. Nico by Ian Hyuk Lee, right? Yes. And then uh, Stegman did a cover that's cover price. We've got the Spider Verse variant, which is rad. And then the see this is how you do it. Look at him. There's some there's webs. magic. There's, there's webs. webs. Yeah, not just like a domino mask. And then <laughs> and then Stegman, Stegman did a virgin variant, which is a one in fifty variant for Doctor Strange. So it looks even better without a title above it. Uh, Silver Surfer Ghost Lights on number four of five. So that's a penultimate issue. We've got another chapter in uh, Cold War, Captain America Cold War. That's part four. With Captain America, Symbol of Truth, number 13, which is just a knockdown drag-out fight of Cap and uh, Cap. Cap. Cap on Cap. Uh, and then top of the table, most notably this week, and hopefully not spoiled for you on the internet like it was for us, or in person, or whoever. Yeah. Amazing Spider-Man, number 26, a fantastic end to the story arc. It's perfect. It is a great issue. It is a fantastic issue. There is... One shell fall, perfect. That's a, that's all you need to say on it. It's a great end to everything that's been going on in Spidey right now from Zeb Wells' run. I love this issue. I just wish it hadn't been spoiled. Yeah. So don't spoil Someone's yourself. <laughs> just get it. Yeah. It's nope. great. Someone's getting a talking to. Dude, you don't want to spoil crap for John Shearer. I'm just telling uh, you right now. So he called spoiled. me on the phone. I did. <laughs> I did. Like, I had left work. I was at a bar. I would be nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> uh, so that would be your cover A with the one shell fall. And then we've got one in 25 variants for this iconic issue. Uh, and then Spider-Verse variants, which are great. Yeah. Spider, was... Spider-Man, Spider-Verse. Yeah. They're almost all great. And that's our Marvel side of the table. And then we get to the DC side. And uh, the big one for the week is DC's Pride for uh, 2023. Uh, lots of stories in that one. Tim and Connor, uh, Tim Drake, Connor Hawk, uh, Having, having a big old discussion. Uh, Grant Morrison does a story in there with, using his multiversity stuff. Uh, of course, you can't have a Pride book without Apollo and Midnighter. So that's all in here. All for 10 bucks, Oversized. Really cool thing. Plus a lot of um, new characters that they're like leaning into too. Like Ghostmaker has a story in there. Yes. Uh, Cat, it's with Catman. And then you've got um, Tim Drake's story in there. It's great. And the Harley Ivy is also crushing Lobo, which is really fun. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's it's, all, it's a good thought. So we've got the design variant by Vega. Uh, we also have the rap, rap variant because that's on there, and then we have the Jen Bartel uh, almost shiny foil variant. It's foil so, enough. Yeah, it's it's the one. It's the it's the fifteen dollar foil variant. Um, Icon versus Hardware's on issue number three, and then the other row. Is the Power Girl special by uh, uh, Leah Williams and Marguerite Savage? Uh, it is John Power Girl versus Johnny Sorrow. So he takes off his mask and basically kill you. Uh, he's lots of stuff going on in that one with a fire and ice backup special in there. But this is the regular cover. Uh, this is the Art Germ foil variant, very spiffy, very shiny. The Amanda Connor variant, best cover of the week, and. The regular art germ variant, and then we have the one in twenty-five variant right there. Um, 
go with more comics, uh, Detective Comics on uh, number 1072. We've got the regular one there. Uh, I know Nightwing's in this one a bunch. Uh, and then we have the Kelly Jones variant there, the 1 in 25 variant. And cool. then yeah. the very spiffy gold 1 in, 25, 1 in 50 variant by Kelly Jones there. Why and is the, Batman's belt up on his up, up here? It's, it's like I don't a know. Sternum belt. It might be. <laughs> Maybe he's having issues. Maybe he has two utility belts now. One's here and one's here. Right. There you go. More pouches. Uh, steel celebration of thirty years. All the best steel stories for forty bucks in a nice spiffy hardcover. Uh, Power Shazam is on book two. All the Jerry Ordway stuff is in there. Uh, and then Static season one. Uh, the trade. whole miniseries in trade right there. Nice. Um, next to that is IDW bringing back the Rocketeer for a little miniseries. Uh, we've got the Adam Hughes variant for that right there. Adam Hughes also does a story on the inside uh, with Amelia Earhart as a supporting character. And Jay Lee also does a story uh, at so the end. With. Oh, and then the middle story has... We'll do the... Indiana Jones. It's not, though, for copyright not. purposes. For copyright purposes. <laughs> so we have the regular Adam Hughes cover there. Uh, we've got the cover B variant right there uh, by Gabriel Rodriguez. And then we have the 1 in 10 variant that is skyrocketing up in price. So we've got that one there at 55 bucks. We almost played the Indiana Jones music because we were talking about Indiana Jones on this issue. And John comes out of the back and he's like, you can't play it for more than 11 seconds or Facebook will shut you down. Like, okay, all right, never mind. We know, we know. <laughs> uh, Star Trek The Mirror War is in collection. Uh, that's right there. It was so like 16 years ago. Yeah. Really? I, I, I don't know. I just For whatever reason, I was like, is this just coming out? <laughs> um, new series for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Saturday Morning Adventures. Uh, we've got a new number one for that. And then we have the 1 in 10 variant right here. Uh, cat fights. More cats. I'm going to pass this on cats. to Andrea because she read it. So it's about a cat burglar. He works by himself for his heist. And then a mysterious caller is trying to recruit him for a team and is threatening his last living relative, his grandmother, to get him to join. And he gets set up at the end. Is Grandma sassy? Oh, yeah. Grandma's and she's got a grappling hook, too. Oh, Grandma's great. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I already don't like cold callers, but if a cold caller called and threatened my mom or my grandma, I'd be kind of It's like, yeah, you got to join this yeah. team and help me steal stuff. Or else. Or I want that phone call in general. <laughs> like, that's just a cool <laughs> phone call. <laughs> like, over the phone, I'd probably be sassy. Yeah, I'm, I'd be like, I'm time going? to join my team. My grandma, I'm not your teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Frank Miller's Ancient Enemies is on number four. And then we get into more collections. I'm going to go to the best collection. Heck yeah. Blue Flame, all the issues, one through ten, 20 bucks. It's great. It's only 20 bucks? It's only 20 bucks. Are you serious? I'm absolutely serious. It's fantastic. This is your <laughs> best 20 bucks that you can spend all week. Ask us about it. It's wonderful. It's perfect. It, it's one of the it's one of the most sincere and well thought out superhero books I've ever read. Yeah, it, it's so well written. Chris Cantwell. Yeah, it's it's beautiful and perfect. It's a great great book yeah. with no reference needed whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got Essential Judge Dreads. Uh, we've got the Apocalypse War, and we also have Necropolis. And then we've got John Deuce's pick of the week with Myth Adventures. He I know he has copies of this in the back. This is con uh, consistently in and out of print. Well, as soon as it comes back in print, he orders many for the table. That's why we've got it. Uh, and then we, below that, we've got Bungie's Destiny Comics, the comic collection. Uh, this is online stuff too, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's got a bunch of the like grimoire stuff. Uh, so if you play the game, it, it tells you all about the enemies and all the lore. Twenty dollar uh, hardcover, right? Yep, yeah. yep. Pretty much. And then we've got quote-unquote kids books we've got the gargoyles number six and then their one in 40 variant uh Ooh, next to that one in 40 yeah i know right crazy and then star wars uh high republic adventures on issue number five and that is it for comics and now we've got merchandise lots and lots of merch i'm so stoked about new marvel legends uh new marvel legends from the uh, most recent x-men line building shod yep got it 
two O's. Give it two away. O's. Uh, Chamber Fang, which uh, I would love some insight as to who Fang is, because it looks like Puma, but it's not. And he stole Sabretooth's outfit. And he stole Sabretooth's outfit. <laughs> Stupid. Kid Omega, uh, Emma Frost, which is actually kind of a rad figure. Um, Monica St. Croix. You got the Star Jammers coarse hair and Cyclops because you can't Summers. have yeah. yeah Papa Summers and then Baby Summers <laughs> and then Moon Knight which is a rad Moon Knight figure it comes with extra Moon Rangs. Moon <laughs> Kyle and I coined it earlier. <laughs> uh, new Star Wars figures also 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi. I'm gonna try not to make a weird Chewbacca joke. You got uh, <laughs> Poplu. I didn't know that was his name. Yeah. Uh, Emperor from Return of the Jedi. Chewbacca. <laughs> well, if we call her Slave Leia, can we call him Slave Chewbacca? You can. All right, work. That's all I'm going to say. I thought it's the Jango Fett's ship Leia now. <laughs> <laughs> Bib Fortuna and a sweet-looking Stormtrooper for army building. Uh, one new pop this week. You got those comic covers. Uh, the most popular comic ever created by man with a Wolverine uh, pop figure with it, so you can display the, uh, the cover. We're restocked on board books. Um, Spidey and Amazing Friends. We got a bunch of sticker books we restocked on. We're getting, we're gearing up for uh, all ages stuff for the summer. And then, uh, as always, dollar books at the front of the table. So we're con constantly adding to and refreshing those. Just added yeah. some today. Just added some today. But other than that, please don't forget that Dave Michelini is going to be here on the 21st and the 22nd, and that the VIP tickets for that are on sale on Thursday, starting at noon, not before noon. But you can call. <laughs> right? Yes. Right. Um, oh, I'm going to get to Irving at this point. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's our week. Thank you for joining us for the fifth Wednesday. We'll be back to a four Wednesday month next month. And then we'll see you for your comics tomorrow. Late Night Comics after that. And Michelini later. Yeah.